give us your thoughts on the season so far. If you were to issue an interim report, what would it read like? Uh, it's like the racing post comments. Started well, <laughs> um, lost position halfway, and I'd like to think stayed on strongly. But uh, no, it's going well, Gary. We started very well. We had a lot of nice horses. We had a lot of winners early. But as you know, when you win and you step them up to that next level, it's sometimes tough. Um, and as they win, handicaps to progress up through the, the ranks as well. But um, solid year so far. We've got 70, 71 horses here at the moment. Solid year so far. And again, we'd like to. We, we've got more horses rated over 90. So they are running on the weekends and, that, and they're being competitive on the weekends. But to get from 90 up to the 115, 120, it's a big ask. But um, hopefully over Champions Weekend now we've a few chance we've a few f horses with chances, and um, if we could get one over Champions Weekend, I think you know that's that's um, that'd be a big feather in the cap again. It's a fixture you've obviously had some great success at over the years. Just how big a deal is it when do you start laying horses out for the races on, on this weekend? Well, you're at the start of the year, and you know if you have horses that break their maidens early, or you have horses that are going through the ranks listed. Uh, group races you're, you're kind of planning for the hopefully they'll be good enough to run on Champions Weekend so um, I suppose they are March, April, May when you start getting a bit of a feel about them that's when you start making the plans it's a hugely important weekend in Irish racing it's the biggest one we have you know the, it, it's two days uh, at our best two tracks in Ireland with the best competition from all around the world and we want to be part of it so you know it, it's 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 a brilliant two days and if you look back in the history of it, the brilliant winners that's been there, and thankfully we've had a few winners, and hopefully we can do it again. And how would you rate the squad from Fox Covert this year? Who's going to be your team captain, do you think? Listen, it's tough this year. We've got a few chances, I suppose. Take heart the way he's improving. You know, now we got, I think he got eight pounds for winning the other day, so he's up to 92 or 94 now. So hopefully he'll sneak in the bottom of the, the Northfields handicap, but he's a progressive three-year-old mile and a quarter the courage should suit him really well and he's probably our best chance of a winner Matt Shore has been a cracking horse for you hasn't he and I know the connection with Tommy Dowd and the Mead footballers means a lot to you also great scenes when he won at the Curra two starts back are we going to see him he's obviously had a disappointing run in the meantime at York yeah he, he was he was disappointing but he, he it was a mile and a quarter he, Ben says he didn't get flown well enough in front and you know they sprinted by him in the straight so I think a step up to a mile and a half will suit him really well he has a penalty for being a group three winner but a mile and a half around Leperstown should, should suit him really well he's in very good form since York and you know we're looking forward to getting him back out and as I said he, he, he's, been, he's been very very consistent all year Caddo Bell's another one who wasn't at her best last time we saw her cross channel. Anything come to light that day? Will no, we see her? Gary, um, couldn't find anything straight away, but you know, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a line through that run because it was her first time travelling. And she travelled okay, but she got a bit upset in the parade ring. Ascot's a big deal, you know, to get up to the pre-parade ring and she got a bit lit up and Jamie Spencer said she was quite keen going to the start, she was keen in the race. They went slow, she never really settled, and then she didn't finish. He said he minded her the last bit. So, listen, we're throwing her in at the deep end. We're throwing her in the matron. It's a race I've had a bit of luck at in the past. So I'm kind of hoping it can happen again. But I think if we ride her well and she settles early, we put a hood on her now, so she seems to be settling a lot better at home. Jamie Powell's riding her out, and he's very happy with her. So we're going to let her take her chance in what looks like a very, very strong matron. And Ladies Church, Johnny, we've seen her this morning as well. Doesn't look the most straightforward, Philly, but could she be a player in the Flying Five, potentially? Yeah, she could. Listen, I ran her a couple of times on soft ground there, and um, it probably wasn't ideal. And the, the other day when I ran her in York, they went very quick. She was outpaced all the way. She got beaten five lengths. I believe there's a big day in her. There's one big day in her, but um, it has to fall right for her. And hopefully, at the Curra, you know, I might put the blinkers on her because I just feel they just might sharpen her up over five furlongs and that what's going to be a you know a, a fastly run race and i'm sure many are well aware you've got a terrific record in handicaps at the current recent years one two three in that northfields handicap the final race of the festival last year if all else fails is that your your go-to race <laughs> well it then? was last year yeah. it was kind of it was, it was a kind of a blowout through the year but yeah we've got angels wrath we've got uh, uh, save your love and we've got take heart you know they, they fit the race well Angel Rath has been running well in group and listed races, but I do think dropping her back to a handicap could give her a best chance of winning. And save your love, disappointing last time on the, uh, the all-weather of Dundalk, but he goes well on the grass. And as you said, like 
take heart is is probably the most progressive we have and so history I, could repeat itself i don't want to wait till the last race again <laughs> on the last day but if it did happen that's the race it could happen in watch live racing now on racingtv.com <laughs>